Hi friends, in this video we are going to see about watch in Vuegen. I hope last two videos uh, you have learned about how to debug your uh, Vuegen script using uh, run step by step and uh, breaking points. In this video we are going to see about watch, how it can be useful uh, for a debugging purpose. So this is the sample snippet I have uh, created. So it is very simple script. So line number five has one uh, uh, get call and line number three I have uh, declared a variable integer HTTP code. Uh, line number 14 will get the HTTP uh, code of the uh, this request and then it will uh, check whether it is less than or equal to 200. It will uh, write the message as success otherwise it will write the message as failure in the output uh, log. So now we will see how the watch will be useful for debugging purpose. So to enable watch pane in your layout, you need to go to view and go to debug option and select watch. So once you select watch in the uh, at the bottom or wherever it, it should appear, you can see the uh, pane, watch pane. And uh, by default, the watch pane will be uh, disabled and also it will be empty. So these options will be available uh, when the script is in the uh, debug mode, which means uh, when the script uh, has been passed for your uh, debugging purpose, then only you could see the uh, these expressions. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, insert a breaking point in the line number five, and I'm going to click on a uh, run button. So when the pointer, uh, uh, process at the line number five and uh, we will see what options will be available in the watch pane. So now the script has been paused in the line number five and uh, just click on watch. So these are the expressions I have already uh, declared. So in order to uh, add an expression, we can click on uh, add new watch expression. And if you want to edit your expression, you can click on this edit button. And if you want to remove watch expression, you can click on this uh, red color uh, uh, icon. Or if you want to remove everything, you can uh, use this uh, grayish uh, remove button. So now I have cleared everything and uh, we will see how to make use of this uh, expression for the debugging purpose. As I said, to watch a variable, and its current uh, runtime value, uh, you can use uh, both uh, two options. One is runtime data. And if you want to uh, go for specific uh, variables, you can use watch. So runtime data, it will display only the parameters and the uh, general information like uh, time, iteration, uh, which action you are in line number, and also it will display the parameters. But now I want to specifically uh, watch out for the variable HTTP code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this HTTP code variable name and in the watch pane, I'm going to click on this uh, plus icon. And I'm going to uh, paste here and click on OK. So right now it is displaying two informations. One is the value of the expression and the type name which is integer and right now the value is zero. Now I'm going to uh, execute using a step-by-step -step option. Uh, so just click on this uh, icon step-by-step -step. and uh, this particular request has been executed and it has uh, passed at the line number 14. So if you click again, so what will happen is it will uh, get the uh, return code and then it will store it in the variable HTTP code and the HTTP code will have the value of this particular request. So this request is uh, 200. So that is why you are seeing the expression uh, HTTP code, the value is 200 and the type name is integer. Now the line number 16 has the expression. So there is a if condition. If HTTP is less than or equal to 200, then write the output message as success. So now uh, assume that I want to uh, add the expression the whole expression HTTP code 
less than or equal to 200. So again, just click on the uh, add new watch expression and paste it here and click on OK. Now you can see it is saying incorrect expression. So ViewGen will not evaluate any expressions. Expressions mean any conditions. It will evaluate only the variable and its runtime value and its type name, not the expression. So do not use any conditions in your watch window. So now go to uh, next step and it is displaying the, uh, it will write the message as success and then uh, it will return the code and then uh, it will go to the iteration number uh, two. So I'm going to stop the execution here. So once it is stopped, if we go to watch window here again, you do not see anything here because as I said, it will get enabled only during when the script is in the debug mode, which is the script should be in the pause status state. Then only you will get the options here. So again, I'm going to click on run. It will, uh, the script will uh, pause at line number five. Now uh, enable the uh, pane uh, watch again. Now you are seeing the uh, values. So uh, if you want to delete this particular expression, just select the uh, expression and click on delete button to which will remove your watch expression. Uh, again, if you click on here, it will remove the watch expression. If you want to remove everything, you can click this option. So this one, it's, it's for editing. So we want to edit something, just click on it and edit and click on OK. So now you can see the expression has been edited and it is displaying the right value. So this is the purpose of your uh, watch in ViewGen. So this will be pretty useful to evaluate any of the uh, variables in your script. I hope this video is pretty useful to you guys. If you have a time, please go to my next video. Otherwise, thanks for listening. Have a great day. Thank you.